Welcome to the Magnetic Online Leaders Podcast. I'm your host, Steffi Lane. That's right. Let's go. (laughs) Hi, everyone. Welcome. And today we're going to discuss about being magnetic in your business. I have this magnet framework that I have been working on for the last decade, for the last 10 years, on why some women just have this influential magnetic power that it has them attract all the success, all the abundance, all the opportunities, all the press, all the goodies, while others fall flat. And it comes down to this thing. And what is that thing? That thing is magnetism. (laughs) And so I'm going to go through my magnet framework that I utilize with all my clients and I actually use with myself to understand if we get these things in line, woof, the sky isn't even the limit. Like Melanie Ann Lair says, like we can do it. We can make it happen. Make sure to like and subscribe this YouTube video and this Spotify video. It helps so much and leave a review or a comment. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. The first one is M. And what does it stand for? It stands for your message and your mission. When you are clear on what you want to achieve, it guides you for, it takes you the path. You don't just go to the airport and say, hey, I'll take a ticket to anywhere. You have to have a message. You have to have a mission and understanding what that looks like. When you first start your business or you start anything, it can feel very daunting to have a message. You're like, what is even a message? What is that? And the thing about messages, it evolves and it changes over time as you evolve and change. My message has changed so many times, radically changes. (laughs) And so it's okay that it can change. My message is really to help more women become magnetic online leaders. I see a lot of women doing the old paradigm thing. They're really working from their masculine energy. They're hustling too hard. They're sacrificing their health. They're trying to win some validation or some contest with some imaginary measuring stick. And I'm just done with it. And I'm sure you're done with it. And I'm done with my clients being it. When we work with our clients in our agency and private coaching, we really help them get clear on their message. What is the why? What is driving them? What is moving them forward? What is the mission? When you get that, it doesn't have to be something like, save the world or world peace. It can be something as simple as making women feel good with their food, making women feel magnetic, making women that are dealing with postpartum not feel so alone. It can be something simple like that, something clear, something concise, and something simple. All right, you got it? Okay, let's move on to number two, A, aligned action. When you take aligned action, when you guide yourself to be like, I'm going this way, I'm making this happen, I'm doing the things, you are going to manifest and create and see the things come into reality quicker and faster. You can't just sit on your meditation cushion. I had a business and a brand where it was called Sitting Pretty Still and we made meditation cushions. And it's really fun to say that My message there was to sit still and meditate, but now it's all about taking that action and moving forward. It doesn't mean that you have to do a bunch of things, but it means that you're taking the aligned and right action for yourself. Three is all about greatness, elevating your standards. Notice how I said greatness and not perfection. In my opinion, perfection is unattainable and not sustainable. It's something that tricks you into thinking that you're not enough and you're constantly re-recording, redoing, refining. And there is art in the refinement process. Like even with this video, I, did, I already recorded this video once, but I decided, you know what? It wasn't to up to my standards. It wasn't up to my greatness. And so I redid it and I reshot it. But we're not going for, for perfection. We're going for greatness, which is not good. Greatness is this standard, this elevation of, I'm going to show up as the best that I can. I have old YouTube videos that I'm somewhat embarrassed to put out there. They're unlisted and maybe leave a comment below if you want to see them and make, if I, if you want me to make them public again. But I was trying and I did my best at that time. This was like six, seven, some even 10 years ago. 
And I did my best. I did my absolute best that I could. And guess what? It was my greatness then, but it's not my greatness now. And I continue to evolve and grow over and over and over again. N is for network. This is all about weaving collaboration, connection, referrals. Just having an abundant net worth makes your net, no, net, how does it go? Your net worth makes your net worth. Oh my gosh, that was so hard for me to say. But think about it. That is what you, you, when you create those relationships, when you create those collaborations, when you create those word of mouth, that referral, like my whole business, my agency, you can go to brandbuilderpros.com, but it, we've been working on it since 2019 and it was solely word of mouth. That's how we grew. And we built a six figure company, a multiple six figure company from just word of mouth. Imagine if we started getting the word out there and we started putting more and more and more and building out the teams, like imagine what could happen. But word of mouth is important and is your network. E is two things, your energetics and your enthusiasm. Because when you radiate positivity, when you radiate enthusiasm, when you radiate this energy, it is completely infectious. People are going to give you opportunities, connections, cash, like Things happen when you come from this place of an enthusiastic nature. Enthusiasm is something that has come very natural to me. So I will say that I am extremely grateful for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Enthusiasm has been very natural to me, but to a lot of people, it is not. It is letting go of the resentment. It is letting go of the anger. It's letting go of the fear. It's letting go of the frustration, the things that are holding you down and not making you radiate enthusiasm. And enthusiasm isn't all about positivity, but it's about this motion of moving forward and excitement of seeing it in completion or seeing it come to an end or come to whatever the destination is. And the last one is T for teach. Touch lives, share knowledge, and grow. There's something really magical when you start to teach what you're learning. I spent so many years, especially as a manifesting generator 1-3, hoarding all this knowledge. I have spent, like the amount of things that I know and the amount of things that I have embodied and that I keep for myself, I can't do that anymore. I have to share this. That's why I'm doing this YouTube channel. That's why I'm doing this podcast. I have to share these things, my discoveries, my contemplations, my inquiries, my weird ways of seeing the world. And I have to teach it. And you can enroll in the school of thought or you can be like, you know what, this isn't for me. I've had people listen to my podcast in the past, especially Space Funds, which you can listen to on Spotify. It's a very edgy podcast <laughs> that I did with Elisa Danielle. But it was all about expression and sensuality and feminine magic. Go ahead and check it out on Spotify. It's, again, Space Buns with Elisa Danielle and Steffi Lane. I know it's a, a unique name, but that really helped me get out of my head and teach. Get out of my head and express and put my things out there and just see what could happen. And why T is the last step is because when you have cultivated all the other steps in the magnet framework, when you start to teach it, you embody it. And when you embody it, you walk it. And when you walk it, you be it. And when you be it, you guide others to it. You guide others, you guide others, and then they can feel like, wow, that you actually are a walking embodiment. You're the person I need to hire. You're the person I need to work with because you can get me that result. So the magnet framework is how women become more magnetic in their business by incorporating these six principles into their lives, by understanding their message, by taking the aligned action, by always going for greatness, for having that network, for enthusiasm and energy, for teaching, you will continue to cycle through things and you'll create like a system. You create a system and you create a standard and it's like no longer something that's outside of you. It's who you are and who you get to be. Because Magnetic women repeat things often. It's repetition, it's consistency. I know a lot of women don't like that word consistency. And consistency, think about this. Consistency 
brings confidence. Confidence is what we're desiring to be because when you're confident, a lot more things come to you. So think of consistency as just a confidence building exercise. Like when you're lifting weights, right? When you, you don't just go lift the weights one time and then expect to have biceps. Like you have to con consistently do the reps and then you'll see the biceps. The biceps will come. It will come. It will come. Well, I absolutely love this episode. I love talking about magnetism and elevating to your highest and greatest magnetic self and for you to utilize this in an energetic and a strategic way with your business. If you are interested in working one-on-one, -on -one, I am taking a few clients through my magnet framework in a 30-day intensive. And then I also have three-month packages and other things also with the agency at Brand Builder Pros if you're looking for a more scalable approach. You can go to steffylane.com or brandbuilderpros.com if you're interested. And also go into my website, steffylane.com and make sure to join our email list. That's where I share podcast episodes, exclusive offers, and just like goodies for you. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining and I'll see you on the next one.